Yeah, hello everybody. Today I'm going to talk about new terms in organic chemistry which related to stereochemistry. Uh, when we talk about stereochemistry, that means we have a compound that contains a carbon and this carbon connected to four different groups. And this carbon called, in this case, stereogenic center. So the compound could have a chirality and for sure stereochemistry information. So to take more about this topic, I uh, will start with isomers. And when you talk about the isomers, that means you have different compounds that they are sharing uh, with the same molecular formula, but these compounds are different. Isomers, there are two types of isomers. The first one is constitutional isomers, and the second is stereoisomers. So I'm going to talk about constitutional isomers and later about stereoisomers. Constitutional isomers, you have like two compounds. They have the same molecular formula, but they are different and the atoms connect in different way. So the first example is butane. As you can see, the first one is chain and the other is isotopin. They are different structures, but have the same molecular formula. Chlorobropane and two chloropropane. The chloro attach you to the primary carbon and here to the secondary carbon. And they are different structures with the same molecular formula. <clears throat> the last one is butanol and diethyl ether. They have four carbons, ten hydrogens, and one oxygen atom. So these are constitutional isomers. So now we will talk about stereoisomers and stereoisomers have different types. So when you talk about stereoisomers, that means we have different compounds that have the same molecular formula, the same atom connectivity, but the atoms arrange different in the space. So let's go to talk more in details. As I said, there are two types of stereoisomers. The first one is enantiomer, and the second is their stereoisomer. Let's make it easy. Enantiomers, when you have two compounds, that has mirror image. And those are two examples about the enantiomers. Let's imagine that you have a book, open book, and you want to close it. Those pages will be matching to each other. Also, look to these two different examples. If you make the same, like when you close the book, it will be matching. So they have mirror image. So these compounds called enantiomers. The other examples is they are stereoisomers, and they doesn't have, they don't have <coughs> mirror image. And you can see if you close, like closing the book, they are not matching like the enantiomers. Also, the other combo, the cyclic one. So, this is the explanation about the difference between the enantiomers and the stereoisomers. And I hope this explanation is uh, easy for you to understand the difference between uh, stereoisomers. Thank you for watching and I hope I make it easier for you now. Thank you.